see the foot trails. So they're, they're walking right down there, right across here, coming down this berm, hopping over and right up over there, and there they sit. Now, as Senator Kelly announces his plans to finish sections here in Arizona, the state of Texas says it's resuming construction on the border wall. Oh, yeah, I'll make sure it doesn't fall. Hey, Don McDowell, we're finishing up here at the uh, Morales Dam. Uh, we, we've had quite an interesting day uh, along the wall the trunk belt and uh, watching the uh, local uh, sheriff's department, uh, CBP, and uh, other law enforcement agencies deal with the uh, influx of illegals. And uh, as you can see over my shoulder, these guys are not from Mexico. Uh, the, the, the chap I just spoke to uh, in, in the red jacket over there, he and his buddy are from Georgia. Uh, you know, these guys are flying into Mexico, flying to Mel Mexicali, taking an Uber to the border, uh, the corral down there uh, on the, um, the uh, Cocopaw side uh, of the river and turn loose in waves to be processed. Hey, Don McDowell here. Uh, we're at County 13. We've got a, a flood of folks coming up. We've got, uh, let's see, five people just getting ready to cross into the United States uh, coming off of the uh, Indian Reservation portion. Uh, about ready to encounter the Trump wall that they don't give any, anything about. And, and you can see down uh, behind them, there's another one, two, three, four, five, five or six more groups uh, making their way to uh, America. Uh, we're, we're sharing our, our day here with another journalist uh, doing some documentation. But, uh, you know, it, as you can see, as we pan back around, we have uh, water, foodstuffs. Uh, Welcome to America. The food that uh, they're getting handed is yeah. Yeah, sausages. Oh, one of my favorites. <laughs> so, you know, in, in a drink of water, there's the sanitation facilities uh, yeah. uh, all around. And uh, we see uh, humanitarians putting out water sources uh, periodically along the, uh, the levee road because uh, they, they don't just stop here. Uh, earlier this week, there was a uh, in, in, in this area, like I reported before, there was about a thousand people making their way to uh, various locations, trying to turn themselves into the uh, local uh, sheriff's department, police departments. They they don't want to do that. They uh, refer them back to border patrol, give them instructions and contact information, uh, how to turn themselves in. Some of them are going right directly to the hospitals, which is another issue down here. The uh, Yuma and Summerton. Uh, hospitals are overtaxed because these guys are coming across with COVID, turning themselves in. You know, uh, unlike San Luis, uh, if they come across and they have COVID and they need uh, medical attention, they have to pay first. Oh, well, in America, you just show up, they treat you, and then figure out, you know, how to collect the money afterwards, which is rare if they collect, you know, even a dollar. So, uh, a lot, of, a lot of pregnant women coming across, having their babies. Uh, we had reports of uh, several infants being born uh, right there at the uh, Morales Crossing, uh, which we'll get back to here in a little while. But, uh, you know, it's just a travesty, and uh, you get all kinds of attitudes. Uh, you know, you have the, uh, the folks with the uh, humanitarian uh, tears in their eyes, leaving food and water and all that kind of stuff uh, for these folks. But, you know, keep in mind, the humanitarian issue they've created for themselves. And, uh, we, you know, just a little while ago, we heard a report of a uh, three-year-old child that was found wandering around the, uh, the river bottom in the water, cold, freezing. You know, I mean, that's certainly uh, pull on your heartstrings. And uh, the, the woman that uh, found the kid turned him into the Border Patrol. Guess what? The, the, the little kid had his mom's cell phone number pinned to his shirt. So you guys can do the math on that, on what's going on. So anyway, uh, we're, we're going to take a short break and uh, figure out what these guys are doing. Uh, th these guys are getting posed over here. Uh, that, that's a pickup point uh, where Border Patrol, Border Patrol comes. And uh, it, it's interesting. There's, there's no, uh, they make them take their belts off. You know, they're not quite tracking with that. They're not searching their, their person. They're not searching their backpacks. And they all got backpacks. They're not checking their, their pockets. So in the bus they go and... They, they just evaporate into America. Mm -hmm. So anyway, here comes, uh, let's see. Oh, look, there, there, there's another group that just popped out. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, five groups now uh, heading to America. Yeah. Sounds like a movie. Welcome to America. 
this last group uh, that uh, you're seeing here, they, uh, according to the uh, deputy sheriff, uh, these guys are from Venezuela, and uh, this is uh, middle class uh, Venezuelans that uh, they have not been trekking through the desert, uh, none of that kind of stuff. They flew into uh, Mexico, they flew to Mexicali, they took a cab uh, right down here, uh, the cab dumped them off, and, and they've walked, uh, I'm guessing less than a mile and a half uh, to get into America. Uh, as you can see, uh, these people are not soiled. They have on clean clothes. They have new luggage. Um, the, the, this isn't what uh, the administration is uh, portraying that's coming across the border. The, this is pretty indicative of, of these folks. Uh, we're, we're hearing about uh, uh, several people. Uh, th th these are uh, high-income folks that showed up uh, earlier in the week. They had seven, seven Gucci bags. Uh, Lord knows what was in them. Uh, Border Patrol let them have one bag. The other six bags that they had went, went into, the, into the dumpster. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that's the fact of the matter every day, but what we're seeing here uh, pretty much according to uh, local law enforcement is uh, the norm, uh, you know, the last month. So, uh, you know, the people coming across uh, are... Uh, certainly a little bit uh, well off financially uh, they're just not dealing with uh, you know the administration uh, uh, coming across uh, uh, in, in a legal manner these guys are going to get picked up they're going to get processed and they're going to let it th these guys right here uh, they, they told me uh, they're, they're headed for Dallas Texas so look out Texas you got some more coming Okay, we've got a uh, real interesting development here. The uh, Yuma County Sheriff's Department came up and he's taking inventory with these folks uh, who are here, where to come from, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And one guy took off down the road, didn't want to talk to the uh, deputy sheriff. So the sheriff has uh, uh, got him detained right now. And uh, we have four, uh, if you can see down the road here, we had four uh, jump into the canal, swim across the canal to uh, get up on the American side real quick. And he's still got a woman and a small child. One of these the, these people over here on the, on the right hand side, that little baby can't be six months old. So it's a real, real interesting process here. We'll keep an eye and see what the sheriff is doing down here. Yeah, I don't think that's going too far. Uh, the guys uh, turned around and uh, headed back here to the uh, the uh, Vienna sausages in the water. Yeah, that other that other woman across there has got a toddler. Oh, looks like maybe four years old. Anyway, that's it for us. Uh, you can check us out at uh, huntingfishing.com, YouTube, uh, like us on Facebook, and uh, we'll be back with more as this thing develops.